Hello everyone, this is Sean from Shock Surplus. Today we're gonna go over uh, some, some options that are frequently compared head to head uh, from our customers, wondering uh, which ones are best for their vehicle, what to expect out of these different options. So today we're gonna talk about the Fox 2.0 coilovers versus the Fox 2.0 snap rings that just came out for numerous applications against the Bilstein 5100 ride height adjustable shocks, which have been uh, available for quite some time now. Um, just to go over the incumbent and what most people are used to are these Bilstein 5100 ride height adjustable shocks. These have four snap ring grooves on this specific model. Other models might come with five grooves, seven grooves, um, depending on application is how much lift you're really going to see out of uh, these parts. So this groove basically means that this uh, coil spring collar kind of sits on the groove, on the circlip, and then this coil spring seat uh, will sit on that collar. And this determines how much ride height you're going to get out of the vehicle or out of the front on your vehicle. The new Fox 2.0 snap rings function in almost the exact same manner. Um, on, these app, on this application, there's only three heights and Fox is a little bit more limited for those options. So uh, the bottom ring is factory height. One ring up is one inch of lift. Two rings up is two inches of lift. So very basic. And it functions in the same way to where that circlip is gonna hold the seat and then the coil spring collar. So your factory coil springs are gonna sit right here. Um, and uh, depending on where your, where your height's at, that's how much lift you're gonna see. Now, the difference between these two options and Fox's 2.0 coilover is that uh, this unit is completely fully assembled um, with its own coil springs, its own top mount. Um, this is basically ready to install right out of the box, whereas both of these options um, need a coil spring compressor, um, remove the factory unit, take that whole thing apart. Um, whereas this Fox 2.0 coilover, right out of the box, this is already preloaded to two inches of lift. Um, the ride height is adjustable through this threaded body right here. Um, now, even though this threaded body goes all the way up here on the main uh, from this whole unit, you do not obviously um, preload that much. You can uh, reduce the preload on this specific unit to go back to factory height. It's not advised to preload it anymore to try and get more lift out of this. Um, Fox purposely caps all of their um, 2.0 coilovers at two inches of lift. Um, and for that's for uh, numerous reasons. One of them being that uh, a, sh a 2.0 shock like this isn't really adapted to um, maintain a three inch kind of lifted uh, spring or a three inch lift spring or preloading this existing spring to provide three inches of lift. That all basically means kind of the similar things um, to where if this coil spring was compressed even more than it currently is, um, the shock wouldn't have too much issue with the compression damping um, going over bumps and such, but excessive rebound force in that spring is going to wear out that shock much, much more. Um, two inch shocks are just generally not known to have the rebound characteristics to handle three inch, three and a half inch lift springs. So just a word of advice there, um, keep it in the two inch lift range. As far as ride quality, um, there's a little bit more ride quality that you can optimize for with just the snap ring because with here, you're gonna be able to use the factory coil spring or numerous um, aftermarket options. So you can run this at factory height setting down here with any kind of lift spring that you might want um, separately. You could run this at the one inch lift along with the lift spring or you can run this at two inches of lift with a different, either a factory spring or um, aftermarket kind of factory height spring, uh, depending on your specific rates. Typically, you aren't gonna get that too specific on a shock like this um, or a shock like this. Now, the major differences between the 2.0 snap ring and the Bilstein 5100 ride height is that this Fox 2.0 is still uh, rebuildable and reserviceable. Here you have your nitrogen gas port um, and this top cap here that uh, encompasses the shock can be removed as well. So once you remove that, piston rod comes out, all the oil comes out, your, your 
piston comes out, um, your shim stacks come out, and you can rebuild it um, yourself or send it to Fox to be rebuilt or any shock specialist in your area. Uh, once that's all done, bolt it all back up and you got a brand new shock. Um, I would say that for most applications, the Bilstein is going to ride probably a little bit better um, on the road and the highway. Bilstein is valved with a, a digressive piston, whereas Fox is typically known as having a linear valving. What that basically means is digressive pistons usually have a little bit more road feedback um, on the entry level, entry um, ranges of shock motion. So basically improves um, body roll, nose dive, um, those sorts of things on the highway. Uh, when it gets a little bit more intense off-road, you can, uh, both shocks are gonna operate very similarly. Um, Fox will handle bigger hits a lot better than Bilstein because it's very oriented towards more aggressive terrain, uh, more off-road terrain, whereas Bilstein is trying to kind of be the jack of all trades. Um, this is also, Bil the Bilstein shock is not serviceable as well. So you can tell that on Bilstein shocks with up here, the, uh, the top mount is basically clamped and machined shut. So this cap cannot come out unless you really force it, but you're not gonna really rebuild a $80 shock. Um, so the Bilstein ride height adjustable shock is between 80 and $120, depending on the application. And the Fox 2.0 snap ring shocks are 249 each. So a much bigger difference in price. Um, mainly due to it being rebuildable, and it's a little bit more of a high-performance product versus the Bilstein. Um, and then the Fox 2.0 coilover units are about 450 per unit. So 450, 250, and about $100 plus or minus. So vast differences in pricing here. Um, the most easiest to install, these are the more difficult ones to install. The Fox is better, better oriented for the off-road vehicles. The Bilstein is your option if you're trying to improve everyday ride comfort. You're only going off-road or camping maybe once a month, twice a month. I've seen people beat these shocks up and do very well off-road, so it's not saying that these aren't capable enough. It's just uh, basically an order of preference. Um, with that said, uh, we hope that that gives you enough information to really decide which, what you want on your vehicle, what it kind of means. Uh, helps you set your budget. Um, thanks so much. Let us know in the comments what you are looking for more answers on and we'd love to help out.